have I got something cool to show you guys. It's a little castle here. It's a new Little history about this. I think back in the 1570s or something like that, I, I don't quite remember, a uh, Spanish explorer came to the top of this hill. And, um, well, let me read this here. Coronado Heights. Coronado Heights is a hill northwest of Lindsborg, Kansas, United States. It is alleged to be near the place where Francisco Vasquez de Coronado gave up his search for the seven cities of gold and turned around to return to Mexico. Coronado and a small advance party reached Kansas before it became obvious that there was nothing but the ephemeral villages of the Plains Indians. Coronado Heights is one of a chain of seven sandstone bluffs in the Dakota Formation and rises approximately 300 feet. Yeah, it was kind of a climb to get up here in the RV. Um, in 1915, a professor at Bethany College in Lindsburg found chain mail from Spanish armor at the Sharps Creek site, an Indian village excavation site a few miles southwest of the hill. And another Bethany College professor promoted the name of Coronado Heights for the hill. In 1920, the first road was built up the hill, the road that we took to get up here, uh, known as Swenson Drive, with a footpath known as Olson Trail. In 1936, a stone shelter resembling a castle was built on top of the hill as a project of the Works Progress Administration. In 1988, a sculpture by John Whitfield was placed halfway up the hill with the inscription Coronado Heights, a place to share. The hill is now Coronado Heights Park, owned by the Smoky Valley Historical Association. It is possible to see for miles from the summit and wildflowers bloom on the hill in spring and summer. In summer, there are many prairie race runners around the castle. Very very cool. Uh, what do you say we, we just go check it out? How about that? Does that sound good? Okay. There's another little stone structure over there. But this is a castle, Sober. Yeah. I mean, that sounds cool to me. Sober been in a castle before? Thing's amazing. Does isn't it? Four hundred and thirty-eight years old. Well, no, this is this was built in nineteen thirty-six, I think. Awesome. Look at this. It was built in honor of the uh, Spanish explorer, but it's still really old and really really cool. Wow. I, mean, I wish it was a little sunnier out today, <laughs> but it is what it is. Check out this fireplace. My goodness. And these tables. Could I please buy this and make it my house? That'd be really cool. <laughs> You know, could you imagine living in one of these way back in the day? You'd probably have to put up a lot of carpets and stuff like that on the walls, like uh, your family crest. Sober, come here. Your family crest and all that, uh, just so there wouldn't be so much echo in here. And I could imagine, you know, the reason they had the windows like this. This is probably modeled off of the way a real castle would have been made so that all the smoke can can leave from the fire or maybe so they could shoot arrows out i don't know but this would be very difficult to get through talk about a solid home i don't think a tornado could blow this thing down <laughs> 
Very, very cool. How many castles have you guys been to in your life? Let's check out the observation area. Someone want to go up here? Oh, these are some steep stairs. These are some real steep stairs. Getting to the observation area. No problem for Sober to climb up it. Sober. Oh yeah. This is beautiful up here. You can see for miles on this dirt road. Absolutely beautiful. So, this is where the Spanish guy gave up his search for the seven cities of gold. I want to look into that at some point. Wonder what the seven cities of gold are and if they've been found to this day. <laughs> what do you think of this, Silver? Do you think we could hold off a little army from up here? <laughs> We'd have little holes we could shoot through, you know? Hey, stop! <laughs> Look at Silver sticker. <laughs> what is it? Are you searching for, for people? For enemies? <laughs> I can hear a cow in the distance. This is just gorgeous. There's a cemetery at the bottom of this hill. Might go check that out too. Absolutely beautiful though. All right, we're gonna check out this other little building here. Sober, this way. See what this is. Maybe it's another little lookout or something. Um, I don't know. Maybe this was the guest house. Oh, it's the latrine. <laughs> That's what that smell is. Okay. It's over. Come on. <laughs> There's another cool little lookout here. They got a creek down there. What a view. What a view. This is cool. There's the cows. Yeah. They're all looking up. Well, a few of them are looking up at me. Moo. Okay. There's a little fireplace here. That's nice. That's real nice. What do you think, Sober? Seeing something new again? <laughs> you see something new a lot, quite a lot, don't you? Okay. Uh, hello, friends. So. I just made some lunch here and I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna eat lunch in the great hall here. Ought to be pretty good. I just made a ham sandwich with cheese and some macaroni salad there. Ought to be pretty good. I think, I think uh, Rick is making his lunch too, but uh, I think he started talking to somebody or something. But sober smells all that, don't ya? Okay. <laughs> Peace. Or maybe this would be a better angle. Oh yeah. Typical ham sandwich, nothing fancy. The Spanish arrival in the new world brought about one of the most dramatic cultural and biological exchanges in recorded history. Within half a century, a small number of men explored and conquered an area five times the size of the Roman Empire. Hey guys, living on the road full time in my RV can bring me on some pretty crazy adventures. I encourage you to follow along in my adventures on the road, so please subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and thanks for watching. Woo!